tell you the truth i don't know what this is it looks like a kilo right like a kilo fell off the back of an airplane yeah <laughs> landed in your backyard could you imagine if you found a kilo of cocaine or maybe it's weed i mean if it was the cartel there's no telling what was in here it could be heroin it could be weed it could be coke uh whatever but it's not something else in there i'm not sure what's in there i'm not sure it's like wrapped twice. See that? Yep. This may be some Colombian shit. It's already being double wrapped. Yeah. Judging by the block, uh, this is an ice dragon by 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 Skiski by Skis, by this company. I can never pronounce this company, but it says it's an ice dragon. Water block, ice dragon water block. Okay, uh, Aurora RGB. You know, I don't think any of that shit. I just think if it's RGB, they put all those labels on there anyway. That's what I think. Oh, check this out. All right, this looks cool. I'm a little confused though. Why do I have this? I, uh, I already got the water block, the GPU water block. This comes with some new fittings. Those are very nice. Freeze mod water cooling fittings. Cool. And I got two of those. Sweet. Hang them on the wall, right? Some kind of uh, pass test badge. Okay, so this is their RGB controller. That looks cool. With cables and remote. Great. Another RGB controller and remote. Just what I need, another LED remote. Let's see here, what's it? This is hardware. Uh, looks like uh, an adapter. And there's, like, there's some fittings in there, some plugs. Right there, that's cool, that's cool. Alrighty, moving on, moving on. Uh, let's take a quick look. Ooh. Hello, baby. Ooh, you're so pretty. Oh man, she's gorgeous. Ah, uh, MSI. It's an MSI water block. Ha <laughs> ha! Them fools, they sent me two of them! That's awesome. Pretty sure they sent me two of these. That's why I got two of them. One was used. This one's look brand new. I don't, I mean, even the thing wasn't even popped. How can I get this open without destroying it? Yes. Come to life. Yes. Honestly, I really don't want to make a video just me unboxing one damn thing. But holy shit, this thing is beautiful. Check out the phone. Say hello. Hello. I see you. <laughs> Guys, try to avoid touching this. You don't want the oils of your hands getting on this. So try not to touch that. Really, you should be wearing gloves. It's really nice. Man, this thing is awesome. Wow, so this would make number, what, three, four? I got four of these now. You know, people ask me if I ever want to uh, sell my collection of stuff. Um, the co usually what I tell them is, you know, you're impressed because I have a lot of computer hardware, right? Well, the reason why I have all of this computer hardware is because I don't sell it, you know? 
Um, although there are a couple of things that I could sell. I got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So I could actually sell. I have one of these I could sell. I got a motherboard. I got some RAM. I got maybe some water cooling stuff, kind of like fittings and stuff like that that I could sell. I got all kinds of little things, radiators, stuff like that that I could probably let go. Um, but yeah, let's go out to the garage real quick, show y'all something out there. If you're digging this video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So, let's see here, that take that down. And we will add our new GPU water block to our other GPU water block stack. This out guys, I literally just walked outside and the post office walked up and had this, like he was, it actually startled me because he come walking up on me and I didn't see him. But anyway, he had this for me. I want to show y'all this. Check this out. Y'all going like these. This is also for our new upcoming water cool build. Oh, yeah. I bought two of them because remember, we're doing two of everything. It's going to be a dual loop. So everything has to match. And I just got these. These are from Freeze Mod. Um, I, man, these came all the way from the Russian Federation, dude. Check these out. Look, it's aluminum with acrylic. And then there's a little screen right there to catch. Anyway, they're filters. And they are identical. So that way I can have identical parts built into the loop. So it looks the same. It's a nice piece, ain't it? I think they were like 10 bucks a piece. It cost me $20 to ship it. So I think I got 40 bucks wrapped up into these. So they were like 10 a piece and then it cost me another 20 to ship. Oh yeah, these are, these look awesome. Sweet. All right. That's actually pretty cool. Um, so, uh, what I've decided to do is I decided to take this, put that against the back wall. Right here in the middle is going to be the layout for a table. So we're going to have like a an island style table set up here. Um, check this out. This is how I'm kind of thinking I got this set up right now. So I got my vise here. So let's say we got some tube that we want to work on. You could put the tube in the vise, whatever. You come over here, we're gonna have this thing set up. Okay, we can make our cuts here, put the tube in the jig. Went, cut it. You have sander, you have the heat gun, then you have all of your fittings, and then if you come down here, we got like the specialty stuff. So like this is a handheld sander to get uh, you know some of the rough spots out of the piping. And then if I need a more surface flat style sander, I have this one down here that I can use. And then over here, I got my power supply that we can use to test stuff. Um, coming off of the Molex in, or yeah, Molex. Yeah, coming off the, no, coming off the SATA. So coming off the SATA here, you have a three. So this way we can test, uh, this is a three pin, five volt RGB tester. So let's say I have some RGB lights I wanna test. Boom, I can hook them up to here, test them. Over here, same thing with the fans. If I want to hook up to a fan or something, I can. I have the ability to control it. And then I got an extender on there in case I need to reach a little further. But that's basically how I kind of have it sort of getting set up right now. We're still trying to uh, organize and stuff like that. But, you know, that will take a long time to do. So, But anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you guys some of that stuff. Um, see my RAM cabinet starting to get a little bit more full because I found more and more RAM that needs to go in there. Um, but yeah, progress. So, this is what I've gotten so far. It is a 6x4 platform. So I'll have a 6x4 table to work on. Now, that workbench back there, it looks bigger, but it's not. It's six by two and a half or something. So it's double the thickness or width of it. I'm hoping that this will be, I need to continue with the ribs. You can see where I've started to 
put the ribs in and then I'll just keep going and go all the way to the end. Huh. Uh, I need to get some wood. Uh, some fit, uh, I think I actually have a piece that will fit this. Yeah, progress.